but 65%? At first, nobody really hesitated. People flipped the switches like they were ringing a doorbell, but by 150 volts, something happened. The learner started shouting, not vague discomfort, real panic. He yelled that his heart hurt. He begged to be let out. He screamed, no response, just static from the speaker. The lab coat guy didn't flinch. Please continue, he'd say. Most people laughed. Not because it was funny, but because that's what your brain does when it short circuits. You laugh when you're afraid. You laugh when you know something's wrong, but you're already in too far to climb out. One man sweated so much it soaked through his shirt. Another clenched his fist until his knuckles went white. Some stammered, some cried. One banged his head against the wall. One had a nervous seizure. His entire body shook uncontrollably, but his hand still moved to flip the next switch. A few walked out, but most didn't. 65%. 26 out of 40 went all the way to 450 volts, XXX. It's important to note, nobody was actually being shocked. Mr. Wallace was fine. The screams were pre-recorded. The silence was scripted, but the teacher didn't know that. He believed he was killing a man in a cardigan for getting a word wrong. Milgram didn't smile when he saw the results. He looked haunted. He hadn't expected it to work so well. He thought maybe one in a hundred would go all the way. Maybe two, but 65%? The number felt radioactive. He ran the test over and over. Different subjects, different labs, different variations. Move the learner closer. Obedience dropped a little. Make the teacher hold the learner's hand to shock the plate. Lower still. Have another teacher rebel and walk out. Obedience dropped like a rock. But the pattern was clear. If you put a man in a white coat and tell someone he's in charge, People will do things they can't live with. They'll do it sweating, crying, laughing hysterically, but they'll do 